Hey guys, uh, today I haven't really done this before. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, draw a greyhound. <laughs> uh, I'm doing this purely because I have papers all over in my notebook. Uh, I'm doing this purely because my uh, good friend Ghost Queen. I'll put her in. I'll put her in the uh, description. Uh, she asked me how I draw, how, like, she didn't ask me how to, but, uh, she <laughs> was like, I might need help, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing this today. I'm awkward, I'm sorry. This is why I don't do speaking videos. Uh, so, I usually draw a circle for the head, and I'm only gonna draw the base, so don't expect anything too much. <laughs> uh, then I draw a line going right here. Psh, I should have done warm-up drawings, guys. And down there like that. And then we cut off a bit of that. Yeah? My dad needed me. Uh, so then you draw the neck down. It's kind of simple, you just have to figure out shapes. And then draw chest right there. That looks a little disproportionate. Yeah, it is. Okay, so one sec. I'm looking at a reference right now, and I did this earlier today. And it's not going well. Mm. This one is smaller than the one I just drew, though. And then, this is like the shoulder area, kind of. And now you go up like that. Not curve the back so much, though. I'm used to drawing dragons, guys. Greyhound's backs are kind of straighter. Uh, then draw that circle right there. And then from right here, you kind of draw the leg out like this. And then you draw this section of the leg. And then this section and then the paw and then you draw the upper arm and then the lower arm the lower part and then you have a little part right there, and then draw the paw right there, and then from this side you do the same thing. Uh, actually, no, not like that. Uh, okay. I kind of draw little circles from time to time for little reference. But, you know, this isn't going to be all outlined and stuff, so... And then... And then you do the same thing right here, you find the section. Stop right there. And then the circle for the paw, and then you kind of just draw the little tail down from there. And there you go. That's the base of the Greyhound. Um, now, for the actual <laughs> patterns and stuff, I'm not entirely good with. But I mean... I just kind of make that little divot right there, and their noses kind of curve. Uh, 
I need to look at a picture. Oh, give me one second. <laughs> ah. Okay, I forgot one important detail, and that is the freaking ear. Which, I'm going to have a hard time drawing that. But, you know. Anyway, so... I'm looking at a reference now, so this should be a bit easier so just draw that little part right there make sure the top jaw and bottom jaw are very distinct and go out like that and then you have the eye right here And the upper eyelid and that's okay then right here dog paws are a little bit more triangular is that a word triangular I don't know pretty sure it is Uh, okay. I can't draw dog paws very well, so forgive me that I cannot draw dog paws. <laughs> uh, let's see. They all kind of have this, like, little flap that comes up right there. And then you have this paw, draw that, continue up right there. And greyhounds are generally very bony dogs, very skinny bony dogs. So you don't want to make them furry because they do not have a lot of fur. It's not long, they're not long hairs, like, at all. So you're pretty good with just keeping the lines pretty straight. Uh, and I think that's about it. So, aside from erasing the guidelines, I mean, I wouldn't do too much detail until you erase guidelines. So, you have that. Erase the lines that shouldn't be there. Sometimes you've got to redraw them, which is fine. Their arms are also very muscly. So, yeah, I'm not a very good tutorial artist. <laughs> I, this is my first time doing one of these, so forgive me, because I'm kind of awkward. <laughs> uh. I guess I can kind of talk about what I did today. I went to Fanex, which is basically Comic-Con for Utah. Because we got sued. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, I met Springtrap there. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyway. The back should be a little bit more straight than what I'm doing. I'm having a hard time doing it, which means the chest should come down a little bit right there, like that. It's kind of how it's supposed to be. The tail's supposed to be a bit lower too, but yeah. So 
and the feet are supposed to be all even. At least these ones are, but yeah. Anyway, that's my tutorial for you guys today, and I'll see you later.